new 2022 CA Corvette for $62,195. What OT base model review and what you expect to get. Let's go. Howdy folks, you want to see going to Speed 252 show, scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of See Going to Speed 252. And I want to thank each and every one of you today for pushing that play button and joining me on this episode. So I'm going to try my best to talk over the speakers that's inside a dealership. Um, I hope I don't get a copyright strike because they do give you copyright strike if you have any music that's in your video that doesn't belong to you or you don't own the rights to. So I am sorry if you do hear music in the background that does not belong to me. I apologize for that. But I'm going to try my best to make this audio as clear as possible. So if you can actually hear me that good, please leave your comments down below. If you can hear me really well, please give this video a thumbs up as well. And definitely hit that subscribe button so you can part of this community. If you are interested in supporting this channel, I would love for you to check out my website. I definitely have some merch on my website that is definitely rare and that will run out pretty soon. Um, I got a lot of shirts that are selling well. I have my favorite key tags that are selling well. And all my stuff is priced right now to sell at a really good discount rate because I definitely want my followers to have something that um, are truly great that belongs to the channel and support the channel for sure. So once again, if you go to my website, buy whatever you like, I will send it to your house from my house with a person and written letter. And um, I really greatly appreciate you going to you. Um, but anything else, leave your comments down below if you can hear me really clear. As you guys see right now, I am standing in front of a 2022-2023-ish C8 Corvette Z51 Stingray. Now, let's be on the safe side. This is actually not a Z51 Stingray because I don't see it on the calibers right there. So I am sorry. I apologize for that. This is a non-Z51 C8 Stingray, which most of the time when I usually see a high wing on the back of a C8 Stingray is usually most of the time a Z51 package. But one thing I want to point out with this car and the reason why I'm making this video is because this is one of the newest colors that recently came out. Um, as you guys know, the Sebring Orange was definitely one of those colors that was very popular at one time. But Chevrolet did decide to replace that color with the new Amplify Orange. It does have the stock wheels on this bad boy. So I'm going to go around and kind of show you exactly what this car has to offer. Just in case you guys are in the market for a C8 Stingray that is a non-Z51 or Z51, but you want this color. This color definitely looks really good in person. And the camera definitely picks it up because this is one of the new iPhone 13. And it shows really, really great angles and viewpoints with this car compared to a lot of other cameras uh, once again i'm going to say this is a non-z51 package as it is not located on the calibers as you can also see it does not have a front splitter so if you take a look to the car to the left of it it does not have a front splitter either if you take a look at the car to the right it definitely has a front splitter on the front as well so that must be a z51 package of some sort and yes as you can see on the caliber i do see that one right there which is underneath that Corvette logo. This is a Z51 package. Um, this is a non-Z51 package that has the standard wheel options on this caliber. On this car, please forgive me because I'm still cold from the cold weather from being outside in the rain, but let's have a Corvette on the calibers here, which this has the standard black calibers. If you take a look, this is the Amplify Orange. And then obviously it's pre-sold already. So this car is already has an owner. Um, they still need to be cleaned up and whatnot and actually be sold to the owner. As you can see, this is a 1LT package because I'm looking across the seat and I see only one button there, which is the trans control button. As you guys know, if you order a minimum of a 2LT package, you do get the trans control button, the front lift if you're interested in it, and the front view cameras. So this doesn't have any carbon fiber on the inside. I'm going to assume this is a GT1 seat because that comes with the 1LT package. 
And obviously it is definitely a sweet looking car with the white stitching in the inside with the black seats. Um, you definitely can see the engine cover right here. Now this person did not get the carbon fiber pieces on the outside, which as you guys know, I do have it in my car. That is an extra option that costs a thousand bucks. Um, and for some people it's worth it, some people it's not worth it. But as you can see, this is a 9Z51 with the standard engine cover at the top right here. It does have the high wing. So this is something that I'm going to assume because I haven't been on the website in a while and built out a car um, that you can now get the high wings on non-Z51 package vehicles, or you can actually get it done or install at the dealership. Um, as you guys see, this is at Seacoast, which is the world largest Corvette dealership in the country. Formerly used to be known as Kerback. Um, they sold it to Seattle about two or three months ago. And so now Seattle is the owner of the largest Corvette dealership in the country. Once again, man, this color is so sick. And why I like the high wing is because the high wing actually makes this right rear end looks really aggressive. Take a look. This is a beauty to see. Looking at this high wing from the back of this car really makes this car look great. Now, as you can see, that yellow C8 right there does not have a wing at all. It doesn't make the rear end look aggressive, but it does look exotic. This car has a high wing and it definitely looks exotic. And then look at the C51 wing that makes that car look exotic as well. So I'm gonna go down and show you guys exactly what all the different wing types look like on the car. But right now I'm gonna continue talking about this amplifier orange. So what's really unique and different about this car is you can see the stripes. This color really makes this orange stands out big time. If you can see it goes all the way down to the rear bumper and then it goes up to the top of the bumper over the license plate or underneath the license plate if I must say over underneath the rear spoiler underneath the stingray logo all the way up to the roof and if you go to this side over here you can see how it goes over the entire roof and it stops right there obviously it's not gonna go down the glass and if you take a look right here it definitely goes down to the front end of the car and it stops right there and it doesn't make sense to go any further than that because the rest of the car down there is obviously black and you see the Corvette logo right there. So these stripes look really amazing, you guys. Look at it. I mean, it's a really great color scheme. So whoever decided to purchase this color scheme, you did a really great job of picking out the specs on this car because this orange definitely stands out for sure. And this color scheme definitely looks well on these stripes. Now, obviously you guys know the stripes is the extra cost to this car. They have black seats. And I really think this car really looks great. I'm really, really liking this Amplify Orange big time. Now, out of, like I said before, the three colors, there is the Amplify Orange, which is what this is. You have the Hypersonic Gray, which is really nice, which is the Hypersonic Gray is the color they use for the C-A-R. And then they have the Caffeine Brown, which is a color that either you like it or you don't like it. Um, I'm not against it, but it's a color that I wouldn't get on my vehicle for sure. And I think that would be a limited production run color. And if you take a look at this Amplify Orange in person, it reminds me of the Rapid Blue because it has that same stale, dry look in a good way that the Rapid Blue has as well. And so it doesn't have that metallic in it like the Sebring Orange is, That's, which is why I compare it to the Rapid Blue because it has that that non-metallic look in the paint job, whereas this don't have that metallic look either. Now, if we take a look at the stripes, the stripe has a little bit of that metallic in it as well. If you can tell, look a look right here. It definitely has a little bit of that metallic in the stripes along the car. This Amplify Orange is really nice. How many of you guys out there are really truly liking this Amplify Orange? Now, if you compare it to Seabury Orange, I think the Seabury Orange was a little bit better than Amplify Orange, just a little bit because it was a little bit brighter it had the metallic in the paint job and it really stood out. But the Amplify Orange is definitely a really, really popular-ish Lamborghini color for sure. And I think it goes well with this high wing. And I think this high wing definitely has metallic in it. As you can see how close I am, the, the metallic is definitely standing out with this car for sure. And like I said, this high wing, man, it definitely makes this car look really more aggressive. If you look at it from the side, look at that high wing. That high wing looks phenomenal on the side. And I like these standard wheels. Let me get this standard wheels a little bit more visual. So these standard wheels is what came in my car. I like them, but as you guys know, I do have aftermarket wheels in my car. And I really love, love my aftermarket wheels. Like they are really, 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 really great. Um, but 
these standard wheels on a C8 are okay. Let me give you guys a reason why these wheels are like this. So as you guys know, with the C7 Corvette Grand Sport and the C7 Corvette Z06, they had some cracking issues, which is not a recall. Shella decided not to do a recall for those, but they do know that there are cracking issues with that wheel option. So what I think what happened was General Motors decided to overdo it with the C7, um, sorry, C8 wheels. They don't look that great, but they do look more durable. They do look strong. And it's one of those things where I don't think they look the best. I do think Shelly could have came up with some better wheel options for this car, but I think they decided to overthink it and kind of give this wheel option to keep them from cracking in the future. So at the end of the day, like I don't dislike these wheels. I don't love them either, but they did come with my car and I did swap them out for some aftermarket wheels um, later on. So with that being said, you guys, like if you're interested in getting aftermarket wheels for your car, I would definitely go with the standard wheels unless you're interested in getting a Trident spoke wheels for a short period of time to make your car look great and then you just change your wheels out when you get an option to buy some aftermarket wheels. But at the end of the day, whoever spelled out this car, congratulations to you. Like I said before, it's already pre-sold. As you can see, like it do, does have the white tape on the on the sides. It don't have the engine appearance package. And then you can see the white tape right here as well. But it looks really, really great. Really, really great car. Let me see what the price of this car costs. It is $66,730, which is a pretty good price for a car that looks this amazing. Right? You didn't they didn't get the 2LT or the 3LT, which is something they seem like they didn't need. They didn't get the front end lift because it seemed like it's something they don't need. This car is already higher off the ground than the C7 Corvette. If you look at the C7 Corvette right there, compared to the C8 Stingray, this car sits way higher off the ground than that car does. And trust me, this car right here will scrape a lot easier than this car. So, you know, I will say that depending on where you live, you should know whether or not like your roads are going to be really bad regarding if you need a front end lift or not. I know my driveway is really difficult to get up on without stripping the car. So I will say this is a sweet looking car, you guys, for sure. Once again, I thank each and every one of you for pushing that play button and joining me today on this YouTube channel. If you haven't had the opportunity yet to hit that subscribe button, please do. I would love to have you part of this community more than anything in the world. If you would love to support this channel, please go over to my website, which is www.seagonaspeed252. Purchase anything from the website. Everything on that website is very limited because I am running out of stuff. Um, stuff is on sale, and I would like my followers of the channel to have something that really supports the channel. And really, truly, I will send this from my house to your house, and I will autograph anything you want to be autographed, and I will write a hand personal note to you. So I'm very, very thankful for you all, for sure, for being part of this community. And I can't thank you enough, you guys. Truly, words are not enough to explain how happy I am to have you part of this community. So with that being said, you guys, I will catch another episode of See You Gonna Speed 252.